All right, let's start with our F110 racing car assembly. First of all, you need some tools. We recommend you to buy a screwdriver that has some special hex keys inside. First of all, we need an M2, M2.5 and an M5 hex key. In addition, you need some torque screwdriver. If you have some tools at home, you don't need to buy it, but we can really recommend it to have that at home with you. Because you need to have the tool it is a little bit magnetic and uh, it helps you to unplug the different screws and it's very convenient here if you have your tools ready then we will start with an unboxing here please remember that all of the steps i am showing you today are already listed below in our step-by-step -step description with the images so in this case, we are using the Traxxas slash 4X4 car. We have two different vehicles available. Um, two different vehicles can be used for the F110 autonomous car. In this case, we are using the slash car. So let's start with a small unboxing first here. <laughs> So, and here you can see the Traxa slash vehicle. Um, let's dismount the upper body first. You can see here we have those small plugs listed. Just unplug them and put this aside. So, and here you can see the car. We have our electrical engine here, we have the engine, the motor controller here, we have a small box which connects the motor controller and the servo for steering here. And what we need to do, we need to disassemble the box here, we need to disassemble the motor controller because we are building a better, more controllable um, motor controller in the F110 racing car. Be aware, the other car has uh, another engine integrated here, this one here, um, which needs to be changed first. In this car here, we already have the right engine integrated. So we can stay th let this engine here stay in this car and we just have to disassemble this part. And what we are doing here is removing the Traxxas stock components and therefore provide our lower level chassis. Let's start with this box here. I have my M2 screw inside here and I will unscrew those parts first. That's very easy. It's just two screws here and we can remove the first part. Then we have a screw on the right side and on the left side. We'll start with that on the right side. And you can see here that the magnet of your screwdriver helps you a lot here. So the two screws are unscrewed. We can lift that up and see that we have the cables inside and we move them out of this small part here. And then you see down below there are additional two screws here and we unscrew that too. And then we can lift the complete box and we disassemble that. Part one, ready. Then part two is that one here. We have two screws, one on the right and one on the left side. And we will unscrew them here too. And what's really good with that, we can use the same screwdriver here. It's also an M2. Then 
after we unscrew that, you see the three different connectors here. We have to unplug them. It's a little bit tight. The white and the yellow and the blue one. And then we can lift the complete motor controller from Truxes out of the car. So our car is now providing the space we need and we do not have um, more parts integrated. Now what we can do in addition, we have a, a battery holder integrated on the left side. We can um, put that out too. And now what you can see is that we can integrate our um, mounts for the lower level chassis part. So we are using three different screws here. Please be aware we are changing now from the M2 to the M2.5. And what we need to unscrew is, sorry, there was a mistake here. You can use, you can use the M2 here too. You have to unscrew that one over here. Then we need to unscrew this one here. So these two black handles are also called the nerf bars that are located on either side of the chassis. Of course, when you're working with the car, it's more convenient for yourself to work with the car, um, but we don't need it in our F110 car. So they are just um, clipped in here a little bit. Just put it down and move the handlebars aside. All right, so basically this is the disassembling of our um, Traxxas parts. And after we removed the two nerves here, we can start with assembling the standoffs. So what we are doing here, we are putting the car on that side here. So it's easier for us. And what you need from your bill of material are the standoffs. We need the, the biggest one here. Um, it's the 45 millimeters M3 FF standoffs. And then you need your M3 screws here. So now we need to switch the screw. So, and what you can do Either you just put the stand off below and put the screw above. And then use your screwdriver and screw the stand off in. Um, don't screw um, the screws very tight um, because this is a plastic only here. I will show it to you on the other side again. Here again, you will put the standoff down below, use your screw from above and then just tighten the screw takes a while and it's tight and then we do it here again use the screw put it down below and screw it from above now 
now it's tightened and we are ready with our first part with the lower level chassis with removing the Traxxas stock components and what you can do afterwards just to see how it fits. This is the battery, um, the Traxxas 5000 mAh um, ID. You can just see here how it fits inside your car. And that's it folks, that's the first part of our F110 autonomous race car.